Hello, I'm Richard Bowes, the Bald Explorer. Welcome to the continuation of my walk with the lovely Cynthia Julian up over Clapham Wood in West Sussex. We've just come here. If you were watching the previous video, you would have noticed that we've been walking through a wonderful coppiced wood, which is beautifully managed with bluebells and wood anemones and primroses. And we've just come through that gate. That, I believe, is a fence for horses to jump over, the lovely Cynthia just told me. And we've now, we've come further east. I've got to find uh, Cynthia. Here she is in the background. And the lovely Echo. We're crossing this meadow. And then I think we're going into a much more wilder wood. In the first video, we mentioned that Clapham has a rather erroneous history, I think, from what we've seen anyway, of strange goings on in the wood, particularly from the 70s and eight, uh, from the 60s and 70s. And um, this has so far just been an absolutely pleasant and beautiful woodland experience, filming in April. Hello, Cynthia. Hello, Richard. Another big tree. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Have you seen anything strange <laughs> no. and mysterious? How or are in... you? Oh, oh, thanks. We have the wonderful Echo with us, have we not? Okay. Um, yeah. She's just uh, trying to avoid the camera at all costs. Yeah, Hello, Echo. There you... <laughs> that is an example of it. Um, and now we're going on another footpath on the western side of this very large and long, beautiful wood. First of all, we've got another stile to cross which I am a dab hand at now. As you say, you pointed out, here is another beautiful old beech tree, again with some carvings in which have grown to the point where you can barely see what it says as the uh, trunk has expanded, I suppose. But you, in the background, I can hear the roads now. We didn't hear the road, did we? Did you notice that we were in the first part? Yeah. In the previous video we uh, couldn't hear the road but now i think we're coming closer to the down of the long furlong yeah you can see the road there and you hear it sure. can certainly here i can't yeah. not sure it'd be seen on the camera let's crack on shall we and see if we see any more now this is a little bit more wild we've got yeah, more oak trees here than the previous wood that was a lot of um what's uh, hazel although there's a lot of hazel here we saw one rather lovely uh, maple, didn't we, by the church? Yeah, right by the church. Before we started filming. It was rather lovely. It's quite dry underfoot though, it's lovely, because it can get very muddy up here, but it's can not, it? it's gorgeous. Now you've taken your horse up here in the yeah, old days. Um, the bridle path's further up, but uh, yes, and it does get very muddy. <laughs> but um, and straight bits like this, would you canter along? Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime you see a straight bit, is that what horse riders do? Yeah. Yeah, it's lovely if you've got a nice stretch to have go on. Yes. We've actually, the entire video, the last video and now this video, Yes. we've not seen a soul. No, not anyone. There was a car parked at the church, wasn't there, where we... Yes, there was a little gentleman who was strimming yeah, was around strimming. the graves, but yeah, um, we've not seen anybody. Which is a, a great shame. Um, well, not really a great shame, but uh, not for filming. No, it was a silly, silly thing to say. Yeah. As I ever. I think it is very popular, though. It gets very busy up here. Very popular with dog walkers. Yes, we're filming at the beginning of the week, and it is a. a it's actually curiously, it's it's in the Easter holidays, and you would expect to see a, perhaps a family yeah, out with the actually, kids. Actually, absolutely right. But uh, yeah. I think they've all disappeared. Yep. As people do do when you go through Clapham Woods, apparently. You mean they set off but never finished? Yeah. <laughs> Say again. A couple of conifers. Oh, a couple of conifers, yeah, they, they seem a bit unusual, yeah, placed. Struggling in here, struggling there's only ones here. Above us. Oh. In the previous video, I mentioned the name Charles Walker. He's a gentleman who wrote a book 
about the strange and mysterious goings on in Clapham Wood. He was uh, accosted by a man with a gun. He claimed that uh, dogs had disappeared and he found a hut somewhere in the yeah. Clapham Wood, which we were hoping to see if we could find, but we couldn't. And he took you there, didn't he? And he did take me there. I did a podcast about it. I'll put the link to the podcast with these videos yeah. so that you can have a listen. Um, and he claimed that there were these devil worshippers going under the name of Friends of Akati. That's the one. Um, and I just thought that was probably a mistake, that actually it was friends having a party. Probably more like, and you know, it's got the I old... I hope he doesn't listen to this. He's going to be really pleased with you. <laughs> he wrote a book, I think the book was called The Demonic Connection. Yes. I think it's been very popular. I don't actually know what the connection was, though. No, I don't either, because I haven't read it. But... Ah, I did, um, I did get the book. Um, he also claimed that uh, he'd been up on Chantonbury Ring with a group of people. They'd been there to look for UFO sightings because oh, there had right. been yep. UFO sightings up there. And he said one of the group levitated in front of them about six foot off the ground. Yeah, that is spectacular. So I, whilst, you know, I'm not doubting anything that um, he said, he was very kind to me and took me there and I have every respect for him. Of course, it's very hard, isn't it? When you're out on a beautiful day like this to actually believe anything sinister or mysterious goes on. I know, and there have been a lot of, apparently, a lot of UFO sightings up here, um, above Clapham Woods, specifically targeting Clapham Woods. Again, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't seen anything, so... And, and the UFO sightings, as far as I'm aware now, sort of diminished a lot yeah. um, in the 60s and 70s and the early 80s. Everybody was seeing something in the sky. Yes, absolutely. But uh, we don't see so much. Maybe the aliens. Maybe we stop looking. Yeah. Well, maybe either we stop looking or that people actually, um, the aliens no longer come. Now, here is a pit. Um, I also heard from other sources that there were mysterious pits. Yeah, but nobody seems to know. Nobody how seems to know how they got there. Well, here is one such one. And course the downs are absolutely littered with chalk pits where people in all sorts of times would dig out the, the chalk for not only the the land for uh, getting rid of the acid in the in the land because the lime is good for that but also for making mortar lime mortar for um, building and all that sort of stuff there are brickworks, Clapham brickworks. It was just the other side of the village there. So, so there would have been quarrying. Stuff yeah. Going on up here, and the odd stray bomb, of course, dropped over in the wall. So again, all over the yeah. place. So. so plenty of reasons why you might come across a, a an unknown pit. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, we, we're coming up to the end. We might get a, a bit of a view here. Yeah, they always say Chanton Berry's near here, but. I suppose it's not far, but it's not exactly next door either, is it, Richard, really? No, you've got to cross the A24 and beyond this ridge. Here we are, look, we're coming out of the wood now. And you get in the distance the down of the long furlong. And then you're looking still with misty landscape to the north. Mm. Black Patch, mm. Harrow Hill and beyond. If you carried on, you'd get to Storrington, wouldn't you, the other side? You would. So Cynthia, we've um, we've not found anything strange and macabre in Clapham Woods. No, not, no, not even anything really. I think um, in many ways that's um, something of the past that we can perhaps put to bed. Yeah, although people still say they feel things and do see they? things here. I think it will go on for a long time, yeah. And people do come up here at night. I guess they at night time, wherever you are, in any, any wood, you're yeah. going to feel something, aren't you? But I yeah. am a big sceptic, really. I know. You <laughs> notice that? <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, um, so... Well, open-minded to proven different. That's yes, true. there we go. Open-minded until proven different. <laughs> but that's it. Well, thank you so much for watching our little uh, meanders through this delightful wood. I have to say, I, I think Clapham Wood okay. is absolutely stunning, beautiful and it's a lovely time to come mm. with the uh, spring just opening up you've got the bluebells now as well as the wooden enemies and the primroses we've seen 
and throughout the year any wood is worth coming because they change so much they do all the time at the moment the canopy's not full over yet it's lovely absolutely yeah it's great it's perhaps it is dark and foreboding when the canopy yeah. is over and <clears throat> you're tripping over long fell trees mm. and breaking your leg mm. and bleeding to death in the wood all on your own in the middle of the night perhaps that's not so good no that wouldn't be no painted a grim picture there to end on but anyway <laughs> there we are thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one in the meantime don't forget to like follow and subscribe and you can of course become a patron help me get out and about and make these wonderful videos so many of you have that's very kind of you till the next time from cynthia thank you cynthia goodbye and the lovely echo hello echo goodbye mm -hmm.